This is a packing service and repair video for the general pump model HTS-2215S. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are a ratchet, a 22 mm socket, a 17 mm socket, a 13 mm socket, two support pins, an adjustable wrench, two flathead screwdrivers, a packing extractor tool, a 22 mm collet, a round head tool, packing lubricant, a soft rubber mallet, a pick, thread lubricant and sealant, and a torque wrench. Use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket attached to remove the eight manifold retaining bolts. Insert two positioning pins into the upper outermost holes. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft. This will separate the manifold from the crankcase. Insert two flathead screwdrivers between the manifold and the crankcase and pry the manifold from the crankcase. Remove the manifold. Insert the packing extractor tool with a 22 mm collet attached into the packing stack. Secure the tool into the stack. Hammer upward to then remove the stack. Remove the stack from the packing extractor tool. Use a round head tool to remove the low pressure seal from the packing retainer. Use a flat head screwdriver to remove the high pressure seal from the manifold. The parts of the packing retainer are a low pressure seal, a packing retainer, an intermediate ring, and a high pressure seal. Replace the high pressure seal. Use packing lubricant to apply to the outer circumference of the new high pressure seal. Insert the new seal spring side down into the manifold. Insert a 22 mm socket into the manifold and lightly tap with a soft rubber mallet. Apply packing lubricant to the outer circumference of a new low pressure seal. Apply the seal spring side up into the packing retainer. Insert the packing retainer tool onto the packing retainer and firmly press down to fully seat the new seal. Insert the intermediate ring, tapered end down, into the manifold. Apply packing lubricant onto the outer circumference of the packing retainer. Insert the packing retainer into the manifold. Remove the two support pins. Use a ratchet with a 17 mm socket to loosen and remove the plunger bolt and the plunger. Use a pick to remove the backup ring and the O-ring from the plunger bolt. The parts of the plunger assembly are the plunger, a copper washer, a backup ring, an O-ring, and a plunger bolt. Always replace the copper washer, the backup ring, and the O-ring. Be sure to inspect the plunger for cracks, pitting, and or scoring, and replace if necessary. Inspect the plunger bolt at the O-ring and backup ring sealing surface. Replace it if necessary. Install a copper washer and O-ring and a backup ring onto the plunger bolt. Apply a small amount of Loctite onto the thread of the plunger bolt. Install the assembled bolt into the plunger. 
Install the flinger washer over the piston guide. Thread the plunger bolt onto the piston guide. Use a torque wrench with a 17 mm socket and tighten the plunger bolt to the proper specs. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft until the center plunger is at its outermost position while the other two plungers are staggered. Insert the support pins into the two upper holes of the crankcase. Apply packing lubricant to each of the plungers. Slide the manifold onto the crankcase. Apply thread lubricant onto each of the manifold bolts. Thread six of the manifold bolts into the crankcase. Use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket to tighten each of the bolts. Be sure to tighten the bolts in the proper order as shown in the diagram. Remove the two support pins. Thread the remaining two bolts and use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket to tighten the remaining two bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 13 mm socket to tighten to the proper specs.